So bring it from New York to now back home. Uh, you can conquer the universe, but there's truly <laughs> no place like home. And this is the feeling sweeping Zanzi right now and our celebrated reigning Miss Universe, Ooh. Sozibini Tunzi, as she landed back in the country for her homecoming tour since being crowned in Atlanta two months ago. So Kuhle was, uh, of course, at OR Tambo this past Saturday to bring us these very special festivities. South Africa has been buzzing this past week since Miss Universe Zozibini Tuzi announced on her Instagram her homecoming tour. Now the day has finally arrived. As you can see behind me, people singing in unison, waiting for her to land on South African soil to celebrate her. Zozi, we love you. We are here for you. We are here to celebrate you. And we cannot wait to see you. I would say thank you for always being an inspiration to me and all the young girls in South Africa. In my opinion, I think she's an absolute role model because she's broken away from the stereotype of all beauty and no brains. She's got it all. She says her mind, she shakes the world, and she just really, really makes us proud. Josephine is a role model because she inspires every black young girl out there with everything from the way she walks and the way she talks and the way she just represents us as a whole. She just does it for us. Yes, as a group, we're from Bloemfontein, some from Bramford, and some from the Kronstadt, but all from Free State. Um, we're here to welcome Josie back home, and we're very excited about this. Aren't we all excited? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uzo Zibini has cemented herself as a cultural icon with her angular hairstyle, you know, displaying and showcasing the different kinds of African beauty to the entire world. We are excited. We are just so happy. For us, the important thing is that this is a young girl from South Africa, from the rural, rural areas of South Africa, who represented us so well. That she's coming home with the crown, she's Miss Universe, she's coming. And one of the big things that makes us excited is the fact that she has declared that she is here to be a role model for young girls and young women in South Africa. She has done something amazing. She has united our nations, correct? So I'm excited to see people singing together, people celebrating together, yeah. She's Zosie Bini. She didn't try to be anyone else besides herself. And I like the fact that uh, I know that we're trying to be worse than, but she really, really is an African child. And she's promoting this Africanness that it's, it's really okay to be black. It's really okay to have short hair. It's really okay to look black. And uh, that's one thing that makes her special. Because, well, I'm one of those people who are promoting culture, Yay. yes, and being real and authentic. So that's really close to my heart. Uzo Zibini is only back for a week and her schedule is absolutely packed. She's going to jet off home to her birthplace of Utolo in the Eastern Cape, uh, go through the streets of Johannesburg before going to the mother city to attend the State of the Nation address and make her way through the city in a street parade. It sounds like an absolutely exciting time. Verna, this for you hits different because you've worked with Uzo Zibini intimately and very closely. How does it feel to be here to celebrate her and welcome her back home? You know, it feels like baby girl is coming home, yes. finally. Uh, the last time I saw her was the night, um, or the morning just after she won, when I was still packing her bags for New York, and she's like, oh my gosh, can I do this? And I said, yes, you can. And now, two months later, she's coming back, and I cannot wait to just give her the biggest hug ever. She arrives exactly two months after being crowned Miss Universe. She carried herself so well and so fiercely and unapologetically. And us as a nation, as South Africa, not only as a country or as a continent, but as a globe, Zozi Bini, we are absolutely proud of you. Zozi, you have carried the South African flag so high and proud. And now we want you to take our collective support and love back to the States to continue the incredible work that you do as Miss Universe. We absolutely love you and we support you. 
Wow. And she's thank still you so, so humble. much. Yeah, oh, very much so. But thank you so much, Kutle, for that, for getting down there, experiencing. I'm so cool that so many people came out, so yeah. many famous faceless singers, such a, a diverse collection of people. Yeah. Um, understandably, that has got to be one of our highlights from this weekend. But there were so many highlights. I mean, um, obviously, the tennis is a massive one. Mm. So proud of, of the South African public that came out to support Roger Federer and his efforts to raise nearly three and a half million dollars for the Roger Federer Foundation. Wouldn't have been possible without the fans getting into Cape Town Stadium. We had the Net Bank Cup was awesome. So many Lovely. highlights there as well. Of course, Zozzi returning to South Africa. That's got to be probably the biggest highlight. But um, what have people been and saying? Trevor you asked Noah. you guys. Trevor, Trevor Noah, Noah being back, back in SA. Yeah, and doing, that's super cool. And also being so cool about the whole thing. And he really <laughs> did bring like a, a, a... He cut through the, the, the... I would imagine would have been quite a high-pressured mm. um, situation for him. But he just made it so funny, so cool. So what have people been saying? What are their people highlights? People have been coming onto the socials. Michelle says, good morning, Expresso fam and everyone else. Hot. I watched ah. the Nadal and Federer game, and wow, nothing beats Mr. F. That Crying was cool. face, cute face, everything. Uh, Lungile Dube also said, Good morning, Expresso team. I enjoyed everything that was happening in South Africa. All I can proudly say is, South Africa is the coolest place to be in, and I feel yeah. you. I get you. I absolutely agree. Uh, Nazima also said, Trevor Noah bringing Bill Gates to South Africa. What an amazing ambassador he is. Can you imagine? It's like, you know, Bill Gates, come, come with me to South Africa, just gonna play. That's how you roll. Yeah, yeah. That, that is it. And then Klupa says, it was most definitely great featuring 20 times Grand Slam winner in Roger Federer and 19 times Grand Slam mm -hmm. champion in Rafa. The Pink Day was also great, although we lost to England. Yeah. And witnessing Bangladesh under 19 teens cricket team yeah. win the WC for the very first time in history was extra special. What a wonderful weekend indeed. Woo! Yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's the first time that the Young Tigers have done that. And against some pretty stiff opposition. So so well done. I don't know if the Bangladeshi team is still here in South Africa, but well done, lads. They're watching, watching now. Yeah. They're watching now. And then the last year, Aniswa said, Good morning, family. Miss Universe, we love you. We love you indeed. We do. We do. We do. <laughs> That's why we sent quickly out there on Saturday morning, just to get like on ground special. So, yeah. Very amazing. cool. Great weekend to feel proudly South African. We're going to delve into the Oscars. It's Oscar season Yay. after the break. We'll see you now.